Hey everybody, just a quick analysis here on the S&P 500, QQQ, and Russell 2000. So overall, the markets tried selling off today and bulls were able to regain the footing and close the S&P just slightly positive on the session despite the semiconductors weak, Bitcoin and crypto under pressure. So market participants are remaining bulls, bullish. Bulls are still technically in control and believe it or not, on the weekly chart, this is the highest ever weekly close on the S&P 500 the highest ever weekly close on the S&P 500. So if you're a bull, you should be very, very proud of that specific fact. Now, what does that mean going forward? Well, you can clearly see we're above this key resistance area, but the big thing is when you got above it here, you still haven't confirmed, you're no confirmation because you're still inside of this wick. Then this candle here didn't confirm because you're still inside of this wick. And now you're basically right back inside of this week. So despite the highest weekly close, you have not confirmed a breakout yet. You are putting in a little bit of a negative divergence on the weekly and the daily RSI. So just be cautious of that aspect. Now, since we're putting in negative divergences and uh, on the S&P, you have to really position yourself in a way that's not going to get you caught offside in the event of a market sell-off. Now, I may be sounding bearish, but let's flip back to the bullish side and see why the bulls could potentially push this higher. Well, if you've simply thrown the short-term seven and the 20-day moving average, look what just occurred late in the session today. You got a beautiful bullish crossover late in the session today of the S&P 500. The seven-day intersected with the 20-day in a bullish uptrend. You know, the last time we got that was over here. Um, last time we got that, a big move like that, you got that crossover over here. I'm not saying that you're gonna get a big move like we did over here, but the bullish cross does emphasize that there might be a push uh, late next week into the all-time high price. Considering the weekly close was the highest ever weekly close on the S&P 500, it does suggest that maybe come next week we should get a push on the S&P to all-time highs. Now, the QQQ is kind of lagging the market because you got that bearish crossover of the moving average and you still have not got that bullish crossover of the of the daily uh, 7 and 20 moving average so lots of price action to digest but the queues definitely are not looking as strong as the s p 500 here which is kind of a peculiar thing to say now let's look at the small caps because the small caps actually closed negative on the session and basically had a high all the way to 197 and got absolutely trounced and reversed this is shaping up to be bearish consolidation on the small caps which if the indices are looking to push to new all-time highs, specifically the S&P 500, you would naturally expect the small caps to try to firm up, but that's not what we're seeing. We're not really seeing the same bid in the small caps that we once saw. Now, the bearish thing about the small caps is the fact that you got another weekly close back underneath this down sloping trend line. And you also got a weekly close below the seven week moving average. That's not a good sign. The last time we got a weekly close under the seven moving average was here. And look what ended up transpiring. So just pay close attention to the Russell 2000. I do think that small caps are seeing a little, a lot of signs of distribution here. Uh, you are putting in a potential bear flag to move lower. You did get that bearish cross of the moving averages over here. And look at what's happening to the 20. It's starting to potentially curl over. The 7 is curling down as opposed to the S&P. It's completely opposite here. So whenever you see that divergence, I remain slightly skeptical you could do a little bit of a hedge trade, a pairs trade, where you go long S&P, short Russell 2000. That could work out extremely well. On that note, please definitely check out my tradingcapital.ca Discord, where I run a swing trading and day trading service. If you're interested to see how I'm positioned, you can check out my website at this link above. Thank you all for tuning in. Please enjoy your weekend. I'm going to be posting more videos over the weekend, so definitely stay tuned for more technical analysis videos. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.